Hello everyone, welcome to KitraPress.com. Today we have with us Dr. Rashmi Shetty, who's an aesthetic physician and a dermatologist. And she's going to be talking to us about uh, pregnancy, skin care and health regimes today. Uh, Dr. Rashmi, thank you so much for being with us here today. I'm so thrilled. <laughs> Firstly, I think this is a fantastic endeavor of and this is beautiful. I wish this was there while I was pregnant. Great. Thank you and so much. Lovely. Really flattering. Uh, Dr. Shetty, uh, we obviously get a lot of emails from a lot of moms and when we asked, you know, when we asked on social media today that, you know, we're going to be speaking with you. The first question was about hair loss yeah. after the baby. So yeah. I'm going to come back to the before, but yeah. hair loss after the baby. How does one address so that? So what happens is when the, the minute you give birth to the baby, the hormones think their job is done. Oh. Taking care of that extra soul making your uterus and your body ready for that extra little mm -hmm. baby which is coming out is done. So right. they all plummet down. Right. So that's the first thing that's happening. And the commonest thing I've seen in most of my patients are they would be rich with all sorts of good diet being fed for them mm -hmm. and they're taking supplements which the gynecologist has given them. Right. The minute baby is born for some reason they stop it off. Yeah. So it's not just the hormones which have gone down. Mm -hmm. Also, what happens during the pregnancy, because the hormones are so good, including your thyroid hormone is doing right. really well, and all your female hormones are doing well, right. so face what we call, called anagen, mm -hmm. is extended, right. which otherwise is shorter, is now extended, so your hair even grows longer, if you right. have realized. Yeah. Yeah. So it grows longer, thicker, hair doesn't fall, the hair which would have otherwise it's fallen yeah. is retained. Right. So therefore, some of the hair which falls is physiological. You don't have right. to get worried. Yeah. It's also, it's very important that you get so stressed looking at every strand falling down. Yeah. Stress leads to more fall. <laughs> so do, don't stress firstly. Right. Something is happening, it's normal. And two, there's this old woman saying, uh, you start hair fall when the baby smiles at you. Yeah. That's because it's the third month. So right. usually it takes three months for those hormonal effects to go off to the end organs. Right. And then your nutrition high to kind of go down. And then you see the effect in hair. Yeah. So by the third month hair starts falling. So what actually happens is do not stop the nutritional supplements that the gynecologist is giving you. You need it more now because your own nutrition goes down because you obviously every new mom neglects her own diet. I've seen it. And then there are some of these moms who are like obsessed about the weight that they have put on. So in pursuit of losing that you're on some sort of a diet speed. That between cleaning the baby and feeding the baby you don't have time to eat yourself. Right. So your nutrition is going down. As well as you've just given birth to a baby, so there's a lot of blood loss. Right. So that iron goes down, right. hemoglobin goes down, which is very important. Elemental iron, very important for hair growth. Right. That goes down. So all of these, and the good hormones which were really up during pregnancy, mm -hmm. also plummets down now. Right. So all of those goes down. It's important for you to take care, of course. You can't do anything about the hormones. They are going to go down. Start off with simple things like oiling your hair. So don't let those hot piping hot water fall on your head. Yeah. So please take care that that doesn't happen. Lukewarm water. Make sure there's an oil massage and don't use thick oils which are like poured onto your head then you'll use 10 shampoos to remove that oil. Right. So don't do that. So use lighter oils which is easier to remove not more than one or maximum two rinses with the shampoo with, in one bath. Um, bathe every day which anyway happens. Nutritional supplements continue it for the first three months. Up the colored fruits in your diet. Right. If you're a non-vegetarian, up your protein in terms of meat. If you're a vegetarian, Talk to your gynecologist, nutritionist, look up the internet. I'm sure websites like yours will talk about what are the good food right. that increases protein, vitamins, even your calciums, all the elemental um, elements like calcium, zinc, and magnesium. Right. Make sure all of them are at the optimum. So it's diet, it's care, and then for the skin, what's important is it's now kind of deflated. Yeah. So the skin looks worse than it actually will turn out in some months. Yeah. So don't look at it and panic. Right. Lubricate it really well. Oil massages, the Indian way is good. I am a great advocate of tying. Yeah. So, you know, the, there's the sari, the yeah, traditional the Indians industry. do it. Yeah. That's that's a fantastic thing to do. So that tying, it's like, you know, post liposuction, yeah. they give you those belts to, belts to wear yeah. and those socks, compression yeah. socks is to yeah. hold on your yeah. uh, midriff. Yeah. It's like that. So we Indians knew it all the while. Right. So that wrapping is a fantastic thing for skin. It helps skin kind of come together and shrink back. Start lubricating a lot, whether it is a cream or an oil. Of course, there are nicer oils these days. You have a lot of choice. With, right. um, oils with anti-aging ingredients like vitamin A, vitamin E, collagen boosting ingredients right. that you can use. Ingredients which calm and soothe your skin like calendula, yeah. um, chamomile oil, lavender oil, exactly. So use look 
for ingredients such as this. Sure. And look for lighter oils which don't make you feel sticky and sweat. Yes. Then Especially you continue in the weather. Exactly. Yeah. And then you're tying it and then right. they give you a hot bath. Yeah. And then there's everybody screaming around your ear. So I remember <laughs> when I was a pregnant, I was like, just, just go away. Yeah. You have flawless skin. How do you manage that? <laughs> okay. So in gen of course, genetics. Genetics yeah. is a big, big thing. If, you, if your mom has had great skin, your dad's got great skin, you will invariably get great skin. Right. No matter which dermatologist you go to, can't replace the genes. I can't believe a dermatologist is actually <laughs> saying this. <laughs> I mean, what's truth is the truth, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, so that's one thing. And then you can start off with good home care, mm -hmm. as I was saying. Oil, lubricate, protect from scars, sun. Start using collagen regenerating ingredients in right. your uh, daily regime. Use ca ca calming ingredients in your regime. Um, so these are the things that you can use at home and then the science has advanced a lot. Right. So at your doctor's office, there are things like equipments like radio frequency, right. there's something called a thermage which tightens your skin of the stomach well. Mm -hmm. There's newer kids of the block which is fantastic is the ultrasound right. or al therapy. So those, those tighten the skin as well. Then you can do microneedling and RF, you right. can do various chemical peels to get rid of those pigmentations yes. that you have. Include skin lightening ingredients like kojic acids mm -hmm. and uh, Mm, acidic acids, retin A's yeah. into your skincare regime, which again eases the pigmentation off. Right. It is a long process. process. So don't give up, don't look for magic, don't get disheartened. That's right. the most important thing I keep telling. Right. It's a long process, you can improve, you can't erase to a teen stomach, yeah. but you can at least improve it and get it better. Right. And that's what you do. The pigmentation disappears on its own. Right. But honestly, whether you go to a doctor or you don't go to a doctor, it, it disappears. But if you go to a doctor early enough, we take the credit. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It and it's, it's a more structured format. Yeah. So it, it disappears anyways. Those things disappear. But stretch marks will never disappear. It can reduce. Prevention is a better thing. So start using care from the day you know that you're pregnant. And uh, continue using those even after pregnancy for as long as you can. Thank you so much, Dr. Shetty. Thank you Thank so much. You. It was an absolute pleasure speaking with you. Thank you very much. Thank you.